if you will look at that building right in the front, middle of the screen, off in the distance, uh, this is a citizenship by investment project that actually uh, went under. The reason I'm showing you this today is you need to be aware that uh, not all these programs work like they're supposed to. How many people lost money in this? I don't know. Uh, this is a Pelican Bay Embassy Suites Hilton. Now, just because it's got the name Hilton on here does not mean uh, that this is this is not run by the Hilton Hotel um, directly, the home office. This is a private individual that uses their name. So when you go down and you start looking for developments and they've got these uh, uh, these big company names, don't get flushed by that. You need to be looking at the developer who's behind this and what sort of projects he's done before. We've actually never dealt with anybody that's gone under because we do a lot of homework on, on you know, developers before we work with them. And we, we check them out pretty good. And also I like people that have, have been here for years that uh, have a lot to lose by you know, going under on something like this. But this is a key thing you need to you know, understand um, and because uh, this can cost you a lot of money. How many people lost from this? I don't know. I don't know if any people lost or how many people lost. Um, but, you know, the, it went under and uh, it was up and running where they were getting deposits for several years. So, uh, you know, this is a key thing that you have to look at uh, when getting um, in a citizenship development here. Uh, but like I said, we've never had a problem with the developer we use because we do a lot of background on them and, uh, and check them out. Uh, this is not the only one. If you look at our other videos, we're going to tell you other projects, too, that have had problems. Uh, and one of them uh, is, has been delisted off the citizenship by investment site. Uh, they actually were totally built out and it was a, uh, it was a fiasco. So you, you, you need to understand what you're doing when you're buying properties in St. Kitts. And you need to be careful with lawyers. There are good lawyers and there are some bad, 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 bad lawyers in St. Kitts. So you need to be careful who you hire in St. Kitts as a lawyer. Uh, we can also give you good advice on that, on who to pick and uh, give you more information of where to go on that. Um, also, don't buy any properties in St. Kitts for citizenship that were used for citizenship before January the 1st, 2012. No matter what lawyer tells you this, what other person tells you, if you buy one, it was used for citizenship before that date, uh, it, you'll, uh, your whole citizenship program will be defunct, okay? So it's very important that you do this and don't, uh, don't just depend on a lawyer. You, you need to make sure you get a good lawyer, but you, you need to get some good outside advice to make sure that these units, uh, if, especially if they're old. Now, if they're new units and they were built after, and, and in fact, you're buying them and you know that they're, they're new as soon as you come down here, and that's you know long after, of course, January the 1st, 2012, uh, then you know you don't have a problem with that. But it, when you buy older units, you need to be concerned with that because it can make a huge difference uh, in your citizenship. Because literally, if you get one that's been used and your passport's issues for some reason and they find out that, that that's been used before, you could, it could jeopardize your whole citizenship program. It's real important that you, that you, you uh, understand that. So um, anyway, uh, look at our other citizenship developments we've got. Uh, I'm going to show you one that was uh, totally defunct. And uh, I had some lawyers that I talked to that told me that people lost money in them. So you need to pay attention to that. I'm going to go in. I'm going to show you that one. This this next one's not uh, on this other citizenship project. It's not even on the listing anymore. But I'm just trying to give you a history of what's happened in the past because you need to know this and you need to ask questions and uh, know what you're looking for when you when you uh, get a property. Uh, properties have done real well in St. Kitts. The, the land values have gone up dramatically. But you need to learn uh, the facts before you buy. Uh, if you got a question or comment. Uh, Put it below and also if you hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen you'll get new videos as they come out also if you're interested we don't deal with just uh, st kitts we deal with 67 citizenship by investment and residency by investment countries all over the world they all have their advantages and we can work with you and uh, teach you on each one of them and what you're looking for and um, uh, if you're interested uh, if you'll go on our website www.citizenshipquickly.com you'll get uh, a question uh, tab at the top, hit that, answer those, and we'll be glad to get back with you. Look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.